What is set for Elite Dangerous in 2024? Could it be at the end of the line for this long established game? Or do Frontier have some surprising plans for it? The fact is, we don't know. However, based upon the information Frontier have just released, we can take a strong, educated guess. So, right up front, I want to really point out that it is my opinion that things are not looking good for the game. I'm not sure what's going to happen in 2024. I don't think it's um, going to be fantastic, but other people will likely have a different opinion. Either way, before we get too deeply into all of this, we're going to need some context. So let's start with Frontier's recent financial report that released at the end of last week. So Frontier have just announced an operating loss of £26.6 million for their, fun for their current financial year. This is undoubtedly a huge deal for the company. In turn, this announcement appears to have directly affected the value of the company's shares. Today, as I'm recording this, the share value of Frontier is sitting at around about £2.56, and this is a massive drop from where it started at £9.75 at the beginning of this year. That's a massive drop of over 70% in value. And let's not forget, a few years back, Frontier shares were valued at nearly £35 a share. So this drop in share price has had a massive impact on the overall value of the company. Frontier once held a market cap value of over £1 billion, a very valuable company. Today, it sits at just under £100 million. That's a drop of close to 900 million in the markets or in the company's market value. Right, at uh, this point, I think it's important to mention that I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say in this video should be taken as financial advice. It is simply my speculation and interpretation as an unexpert on some of the publicly available data. So do take all of this as you will. Now, at any rate, what does all of this have to do with Elite? And more specifically, what does it have to do with Elite in 2024? Well, the future of Elite is directly tied to the profitability of not only the game itself, but also to Frontier. The more problems and challenges Frontier face, the more potential issues could be possibly ahead for Elite as a game. So here's a few issues that Frontier are currently facing as a company. Um, in their financial report, Frontier confirmed that F1 Manager 2023 had lower than expected initial sales. Now, a few weeks back, I mentioned that I fully expected this to be the case simply based on the data from Steam Charts, and it turns out that was indeed accurate. I mean, just look at the player numbers here for these two games. This in itself really should speak volumes. Another problem for Frontier is that their third-party publishing arm, Frontier Foundry, has been closed. Previously, Frontier said that this business arm has been underperforming. Now, these two issues with F1 Manager 2023 and Frontier Foundry have led to Frontier's operating loss of 26.6 million. So this is a massive concern for Frontier, no doubt about that. Going forwards, it seems that Frontier are re-evaluating their business model. Frontier's CEO, Johnny Watts, said, Since I took up the baton from David Braben last summer, our board and our senior management team have been investing more time in reviewing our future plans. We are conscious that our financial performance over the last two years has not been good enough. And although there is always room for improvement on project execution and operational delivery, I firmly believe that the majority of our financial challenges have been driven by some of the decisions that we have collectively made over the last five to six years, which did not always result in the expected financial outcomes for the company. So it's clear that uh, Watts is accepting that the company has made a spate of bad decisions, something which many players of Frontier Games have been saying for many years at this point. It's not all bad for Frontier though. The report goes on to say that they have confidence in the future. For example, their Warhammer Age of Sigma game is due to release in November. And meanwhile, they currently have two more untitled management titles in production, one of these set for release in financial year 2025 and another in financial year 2026. Frontier confirmed that they are going to refocus their attention on titles they know work well. They specifically say that this means their focus will be on what they call creative management games or CMS. In other words, games like Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster, maybe the Jurassic World games as well. 
Now, the report mentions very little about Elite Dangerous, but it does confirm that Elite is one of the four pillars that have been successful for the company, specifically space simulation games. Right, so we know that Frontier hasn't had a good financial year for 2023. We know that they believe they are facing challenges and that they believe their decisions have affected these things. We know they're focusing their attention on management games going forwards with an expanded focus on real-time strategy games such as Warhammer. And let's not forget, in 2023 financial year, I think they also purchased Complex Games, the studio behind Warhammer Chaos Demons, a recent game that Frontier published. So what does all of this mean for Elite? Well, here is where it gets all very, very speculative, so do keep that in mind. None of what I say here is official information in any capacity. It's all speculation and opinion, but it is based on educated guesses. Here's how things look to me. To start with, Frontier are concerned about profitability, perhaps first and foremost. They want to focus on games they know have worked for them in the past, and this seems to suggest they don't want to focus on games they know haven't worked. For example, Odyssey, maybe. For a game to be profitable whilst also maintaining a future development, the game needs to have a decent number of players. So, with all of that in mind, here's the problems as I see them when it comes to Elite Dangerous. The first of these issues then is indeed player numbers, and as shown by Steam charts for Elite Dangerous, player numbers have been dropping significantly throughout 2023. By July 2023, the numbers, the player numbers, were at the lowest point in the game's history. Now, back in July, when I actually pointed this out, there were some other people who were claiming that player numbers appeared to be stabilizing, despite that being quite obviously incorrect. And since then, the numbers have continued to fall. But that said, there has been a slight boost from the 1st of September that coincides with the release of Starfield. Whether that's going to be an ongoing boost or a temporary one, only time will tell. It could go either way. But either way, the good news is that Update 17 is set to release in October. Although aside from a strange and mysterious video, we don't know much about the update at all. We know very little in fact. We also know that Update 18 is coming at some point in the future, although exactly when hasn't yet been confirmed. I suspect though, we'll probably see it before the end of the year. Beyond Updates 17 and 18 though, we have no information on the future of Elite. What's more, the much-anticipated feature overhaul that Frontier announced back in 2022, they promised for that release in early 23, well, there's still no sign of that coming into existence. So, given all of this, here is my take on Elite. Frontier are looking to return to profitability for the company. They confirmed that to do this, they will be sticking with what they know, specifically management games and maybe RTS games as well. They've said that Elite has been a success for them over the past 10 years, but beyond that, they give no further information on the title. We know that player numbers for the game are dropping. We also know that engagement from the Elite community team has also been reduced. They've basically cut down the number of live streams. So, given all of this, I wouldn't at all be surprised to see Elite enter a period of extreme quiet in 2024. Now, I don't believe for one moment that Elite will be shut or that the servers will be turned off, but I wouldn't at all be surprised if Update 18 is the final update Elite gets for a long, long time. Elite, after all, is now a very old game, and it seems, potentially, it's not quite cutting it for Frontier anymore. Right, now I've said all of that, I want to set a record straight before we go any further. This video is not an attack on Elite or Frontier. I think anyone who watches my videos regularly enough will know that, uh, well, I'm just presenting data here, much of which comes directly from Frontier, and I'm offering my speculative insights based on that data. But for some reason, every time I release a video like this on these types of topics, there's a vocal minority in the comment section that tends to misunderstand my analysis as a negative attack on Elite. For those individuals, this isn't an invitation to twist my words or launch personal attacks, although I'm sure some people may try and do that. Either way, yeah. Me pointing out specific comments on my videos isn't something I usually do. When it comes to elite videos, there's always a small group that seem to be unable to separate criticism or analysis from outright hostility. Okay, either way, by the same token, I'm sure that there's going to be a select few others out there 
who were going to twist the wording of Frontier's financial report to show or suggest only positive things are ahead for Elite or for Frontier. Either way, much of this is going to be entirely subjective and that's really how it should be. Ultimately, I think many of you know I'm neither a glasses half full guy nor a glasses half empty guy. I'm simply, well, it's half a glass. But in all my years on YouTube, one thing I have noticed above all else is that people always seem to hear what they want to hear and rarely what is actually said. Although perhaps that just goes for a small uh, segment of people out there. At any rate, with all of this in mind, here's another perspective for Elite in 2024. And, you know, people often wonder why I present more than one perspective. Well, that's because I tend not to sit in one particular camp. I'm a bit of a realist. Right now, I'm 80% sure that my thoughts on Elite that I've already mentioned for 2024 are going to be accurate. But here's what the other 20% of me actually thinks. At Frontier have shown in the past, many times over the years in fact, that what they do today with Elite isn't a reflection of what they're going to do tomorrow. Sometimes that means we go through times of, well, lots of content releases followed by droughts. Other times it's vice versa. In short, what I'm trying to say is that Frontier can surprise us with Elite content and sometimes in very good ways. That means I don't 100% believe that the future ongoing development and continued updates for Elite is going to end in 2024. I'm a realist, so I'm not going to hold to unfounded hopes though. Like I say, I'm about 80% uh, sure that things are going to go very quiet. Ultimately though, I do want to see Elite continue onwards. It's got an amazing community, it's been a great game, and another 10 years of development would be a very nice thing indeed. But even better, would be an Elite Dangerous 2 at some point in the not too distant future. Either way, let me know your thoughts and feelings about all of this in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.